It is a super hot day here in Florida, or at least hovering over <laughs> my house because it's so hot. And I've already started working outside today because we need to do like a big property cleanup. We have fresh sod finally going in the backyard so our dogs can go back there. So right now, first thing of business is we are taking out our like temporary dog fence. And I'm so excited because my dogs have not been in like the backyard in so long. Anyways, I don't wanna keep rambling because I have so much to do today. And I just wanna take you guys along with me for this property cleanup, some other fun stuff. So if you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you go and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. All right, you guys hear the skid steer. Mike is busy at work and let's go assist where we're needed. take down a fence that you can get through. Trust me. <laughs> Finally, the side dog fence is going bye-bye. So happy about it. They've pretty much ruined the grass on the side of my house here for now, but that's okay. They didn't have much room to really go and this was their walking path. So they got out to the rest of the yard. But I'm gonna mow this today. Then we have some cleanup that we have to do over here. He's gonna move that pile. We have a dumpster coming later this week, but have to get ready for the sod that's coming tomorrow. So I'm super excited about that. All of this will be grass again for the dog. So very excited and then time permitting, he started to move some of that dirt yesterday and I'll show you when I go out there more, but he'll work on that later as well. Now he's actually pulling out fencing that was there when we had the white vinyl fence. So it was like flipped against the white vinyl fence. It had to stay up there while he was building this fence, but now it can go bye-bye. So it's very exciting. Lily is rolling on this hot, hot day. Everyone seems pretty intrigued with what we're doing. Lily is very unbothered at this moment. <laughs> He's so cute. It's hot out. Look how shiny they look. Where's Dinky? There she is. It's so hot, you guys. Expect a video here soon of me clipping her because she is so hairy compared to everyone else. And it's way too hot out. I left Mike unattended. And he says, by accident, but also with purpose. <laughs> That he tore down this little section of fence here that technically was not in the plan to get torn down today but it needed to be redone anyways it just wasn't in the plan so not that big of a deal but i guess it was attached to some wire and the skid steer doesn't understand to only do little things but dinky's rolling now big rolling day for these guys but now this is open which was not part of the plan because we were going to take down this little fence and have this all open so that the sod get matched up next to it not a big deal but an extra project. And here's the remnants of that fence. So this is our mess so far. You always have to make a mess before you make it better. Mike's fixing my lawnmower. So we fixed it the other day and then I broke it again. The life of this lawnmower. Now that everything's out of that like side pasture, temporary dog area, my side of my house. <laughs> now that it's all cleared, it's time to mow it so that it looks a lot better and then continue on with the cleanup. Just got done mowing and I'm underneath the tree because it's a lot shadier and everyone got that memo as well because everyone's over here at the tree. I'm over to you to get removed from this pasture. Let's see what he's gonna do. Because these are big poles. Cash, go away! He wants to help. He just learned that Mike can pick it up, so maybe he can pick it up. Alright, one post out. But this is long overdue for this stuff to get picked up because this basically was all put here when we redid the fence and it's just been sitting here with no place to go. So it's time to move it because we have a dumpster coming. So we need to get all of it up so it can go. Beep, beep. They're so interested in everything we're always doing. They don't know how to stay out of danger's way. 
Cash, come on. Be careful. I've hated this one being out here because of all the barbed wire that's on it. So I'm glad that that's going. Bye bye barbed wire. Bad barbed wire. Yay. Now we just have the gate in that post. And of course they needed to get those extra little bits of fresh grass that was lying underneath there. Dinky is not scared at all. Brave donkey. started to fall. Sorry. It's so hot out. My phone keeps overheating. Dinky, go away. You cannot use your help at this time. She very much thinks that we need her. That's a nice grip. What are you trying to do? Trying to bend it. Oh. helping so will she I think he's gonna pick it up okay. cool. Glad those are out of there I'm gonna take my lawnmower and mow this pasture just a little bit. I really don't want to mow it because the horses are going over here soon, but there's some weeds over here, so I'm just gonna keep it pretty high. It's kind of low right now, but I'll keep it pretty high, and I will just get some of these weeds that are accumulating. I did my best over here mowing. I just feel so guilty mowing this, obviously, because like, why would I want to mow grass? I know, it's such a weird thing. I have this really weird relationship with mowing grass and just grass in general because I have horses, so this is where I'm gonna leave it at. <laughs> Look at these pigs run so fast. Come on, piggies! Speed pig races! So I walked over here by the chicken coop. My piggies are very loud because I saw one chicken out and it reminded me that it's probably time that we let everybody out. Live in action, this is how the chickens get out. So it's been about two weeks and a day so these chickens are ready to leave. So hopefully we don't have to do this with them again. Everybody's emerging from the coop. Come on, Ian. Crazy bird. Cute, you got bigger. Nice spots. Okay, still waiting for rooster. the big rooster to come out and maybe a couple more. No, just, the big just the big rooster? He doesn't really know. So the whole problem with this basically has been our rooster. There he is. He doesn't really understand how the coop works. Hello. So the girls are out. I saw another chicken out earlier too, so. <laughs> A couple of them have already gone out for the day, but everyone's out. They've been in their motel for two weeks now. Motel now six. <laughs> you get it? Motel six. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that was a good one. Motel chicks, motel six, I like it. Look at the goat, Willie. What are they doing in your water? 
Like, I don't like it. Why? Wow, she's gonna push one in. We have some friends coming and saying hello. Everyone must say hello to Dinky. Ooh, well, he's coming for more attention. <laughs> Scratchies. Here's our giant trash pile. And now finally this little part of the fence is coming down over here. So this was our old fence that was making the backyard. Now this is our new fence. And there was just a little bit that was there, but we moved the trailer out of the way. And now he's removing all of this so that it can go in the dumpster when we get our dumpster. But look at that cute girl over there looking at me. Her little forelock is braided. Oh, she got her other braids out. It's literally almost like 6.30 and we've been working like all day long. This is my, by far, least favorite part of owning farm is the cleanup all the time. And obviously it's the mess that we make. So it's like cleaning a giant bedroom, but outside, no AC, super hot. Mike's got the bush hog and he's gonna go through the ditches. And this pasture needs to be mowed. I try to do it with the lawnmower and just needs a little bit more help. It's currently in the ditch. Mow, 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 mow. <laughs> we typically don't mow the ditch like this, but it's pretty overgrown. So he's got to start with this. My lawnmower won't be happy if it's too long and I start with that. So here's kind of like a in between of not done, but not a before. This is a before. It's so overgrown. Look who came all the way down the driveway to see what we were up to. Nosy little cat. She never comes down this far unless we're down here. Come on, kitty. Let's go up. Good cat. Go on. <laughs> She's so cute. Let's step back because you're technically supposed to be like 400 feet away from this thing. I was feeling a little too close for comfort because of that reason right there. I felt like it was probably better and safer if I stayed a little farther away. Now this is the part where we torture our poor little rider mower. But the skid steer doesn't get it as low as like I'd like it to get inside these ditches so we don't have to mow as often. So <laughs> he's taking the little mower in there and it's never happy with us. But as you can see, it's a little shorter now. <laughs> A little more that could. It's so upset right now. So far though, he's not beating on it. Oh, she turned off. She's not happy. Huh, he's back on. Yay! But this side looks really good. This side we haven't brought the lawnmower over to. Just the skid steer. It looks super good. Look how cute it looks with the fence. I love it. And my little horse is over there. So cute. What happened? <laughs> Mike's pushing it. <laughs> because it broke. Well, he did a wheelie on it and then it was actually out of gas, so it's not fully broken, but it's out of commission for today. That's why we stay far away. Stuff just went everywhere. The pasture is mowed and it looks so much better. I'm really happy with all the grass growth that we had. This is all where we put the new dirt so it's all nice and level. The summer's coming so hopefully we have a couple more rains and this will look perfect. We had a lot of weeds that started to grow that's why we had to use the brush cutter but it looks nice. There's a lot of grass underneath it so it looks really good. He cleaned up over there a lot so I'm super excited for the horses to get back over here 
and then in the next day or two he'll drag out those manure piles once again and i seriously think that us dragging that manure so much made like the ground and like this soil here just so much better for growing grass because we have tried to go grass on this area for so long and it never grows and since the hurricane we've been putting our manure there and dragging it back basically putting it back into the land and it's worked out really nicely so it decomposes pretty much over there i know you guys think that's really weird i've talked about it a bunch of times but it does a good job over there it doesn't create any extra bugs it decomposes quick and then we put it right back into the ground so it looks really good the rest of the pasture like i said could probably be mowed but i'm not doing it <laughs> I don't want to get rid of any of it. I'll let the goats and the horses take care of it. So it's the first time in a very, very long time that all the dogs will be going to the backyard together. So I've let a couple of them out. And by a couple, I actually only mean I've let Scouty out there and I've let Lexi back there, but they've been so used to going to the little temporary um, fence on the side of the house. So they always run to our garage door now because that's how we get them out there. So we're going to take them all out to the backyard now. And it's really not grass yet because we haven't got the sod yet, but let's see what they think about the backyard. Alby likes to move our outdoor furniture and rugs. Uh-oh. Monster doesn't like the dogs, so that'll be something interesting for Monster. Well, they literally do not know what to do with themselves right now. Lexi's finding any toy that she possibly can. My still has to move that big pile before the sod comes tomorrow, which will happen in time. We still have a little bit of daylight left, even though it's getting darker. Actually, it looks like it's going to rain, which is kind of cool. Hopefully it rains tomorrow if we get our sod. But they are so smart. They're using the little tiny bit of grass that we have in this pasture to go potty in. Daisy, who knows what she's doing. Daisy, come on over this way. Oh, it's so funny. But Penelope is so excited to have the backyard back. She's had access to the backyard for a lot longer time now. And the dogs have, just because I was tired of her only having a little bit of space to move. Look, it's me. Meow, meow. She's come back because her dogs are here. She loves the dogs. Look at her, she's like a raccoon. So they found a couple balls. A lot of toys have been dug up with our pool build. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where they came from, but Miley has a tennis ball. Lexi has another ball. I've seen more toys, so I'm sure it's from like past dogs that have lived here too. Miley set up shop right over there by the mess. Miley. Yay, we get to play fetch again. This is very exciting. Oh my. He doesn't even know what to do with himself. He hasn't been back here in so long. He loves to run too. Look, meow, meow. I'm gonna out myself right here because I still haven't painted the back of my house and it's so ugly, you guys. I still need to paint my windows first black. This was kind of like the hold up, but we painted our soffit to match. So we have some like black overspray, but this is how we've painted the whole house. We paint the soffit and then we paint the windows black. Everything's black first and then we paint it white so that's kind of how it's going and you guys saw when we did over here and it's so ugly oh my gosh but this over here still looks really pretty i love it but i need to just do this because i've been procrastinating this but now that the sod is going to be back here it's going to be more like presentable and we're not putting sod here because we're getting a deck here well we're getting it mike's giving it to us right mike <laughs> but we aren't doing that for another couple weeks. So this will stay dirt because there's no point to put sod underneath it and spend the money and have grass grow through my deck. But since that's happening, I will need to have this all painted before my deck gets done. So probably in the next month, this will get done. <laughs> we'll see. The dumpster has arrived in my... <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> he is throwing our old couch that's been out front of our house for a while into the dumpster. So very exciting yay so that's what today looks like is filling up the trash with all of our junk look at his little eyes ready to go 